Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's Conflict now, Callum here today bringing you the start of a brand new series. Funnily enough, we are playing some Prison Architect. So I've been requested to play this game a little bit and it's a game which I've always watched, again never played. There's been, there's so many games which I've watched over the past year before joining this Conflict Nerd family really and not just Dylan's Let's Play, I mean I actually didn't watch Dylan's Let's Play originally on this game. There's someone else's. There was a few other YouTubers which you know used to play it here and there and I went ahead and watched it and it's a game I've always wanted to play and I thought you know what, now is the time to go ahead and just get this game started. So if you don't know what this is, I'm not going to give you like tutorials on how to play this game. I mean, I'm still learning myself. I've probably only played about 10 to 12 hours on this game. So I know what happens in general, but there's going to be some stuff which I'm going to be a little bit clueless about. You basically just go ahead and build and manage a prison. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and kick things off here. We've got our supply truck, which right now is playing in our workers. And we only have, we only have eight workers to start off with, but they go ahead and basically just build our prison. So there's also some resources coming in here which is good. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do though is I'm going to close the prison because obviously we don't have any, we can't, I mean our next intake supposedly we're taking in 8 people in 24 hours and that is not going to happen at all. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay out our prison because that is the key to success. We're limited on money at the start here so we need to go ahead and really maximise everything which we can eat. We're already getting lots of deliveries in which is good, we've got to make tons of areas, we've got so much to do, it's just very overwhelming at the start here. So the first thing is grants, and this is how we're going to get a lot of our money from the start. So the first one here I'm going to go ahead and take which is create a basic detention centre. So as you can see the objectives in the middle are is to go ahead and create a holding cell, build a shower, build a yard, build a kitchen, canteen and also we'll need to hire two guards and at least two cooks. So that is a lot of building which we need to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by laying out my prison how I roughly have an idea, however it's going to go ahead and adapt over time. So the first thing is, do we need to go ahead and add anything? I think we need to go ahead and probably add some storage by the road as well. I'm just going ahead and thinking how I'm actually going to plan everything out for the time being. So we'll add in a storage area in there. What I would like is, for example, all these trees, if we can go ahead and start to dismantle some of these trees because eventually I'm going to go ahead and need to use this space to actually build the prison. So we'll go ahead and get rid of some of them. I actually quite like having some basic trees around here to be honest. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of a few of them for the time being. Now we'll go ahead and start planning our prison. So this series is very much going to be a feedback orientated series. So if you've got any feedback then please do go ahead and just leave it down in the comment section below and I will, I always look at comments. I mean, you might think, oh this guy doesn't read comments so I'm not going to go ahead and leave him a comment. I always look at comments. Again, it may take me a day or two to reply but I always look at comments. So we're going to have that section there, then we're going to go ahead and have another wee end bit. This is just to go ahead and have lots of gates. So right now, what I'm building is walls and objects. Walls is funnily enough where I'm going to build some form of wall, if that's a brick wall, concrete or fence. Then we've got objects, which these are going to be gates. And I need to have lots and lots of security checkpoints, really. That's the thing. I don't want to go ahead and have a, a insecure prison, because that's going to be the worst thing that can happen. I just want to make it as anything as difficult as uh, it can be for prisoners to go ahead and escape. Strangely as well, uh, prisoners get delivered into the delivery section, which is, uh, that's quite strange as well. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of that at all, but that's why we need to go ahead and we will be building lots of gates. Right now we're at 50,000, which is nice to see. We're going to actually go ahead and start, while continuing some planning, we're actually going to go ahead and start building as well. So from this I'm going to go ahead and we're going to have a few different entrances. I'm going to have the main entrance coming along here though for like 10. So we're going to come along and there's going to be a few doors along here anyway. I'm just imagining stuff in my head so I'm not going to draw every single little thing out. Then we're going to have what I would call the main building of the prison. So this is going to be quite large and this is really going to host a lot of the... I guess the offices and that sort of thing, so we're going to go ahead and draw that in there. That's going to be a large building. As you can see, we've got a really large site which we can go ahead and do a lot with. I'm also going to go ahead and put on a bottom section, so there's going to be offices here, going to be an intake cell, there's also going to be a staff area in here, 
and this is just like, I guess, the administration area of what will be our prison. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and actually get my guys started because as much as planning is great, I need to go ahead and get some building done. So we'll go ahead and get that created in there. We'll get a... Do I want concrete? I'm just thinking. So I need to go ahead and build foundations. To build buildings, you need to go ahead and build foundations. And that's what these two areas are going to be. And then we're going to have our small entranceway. Then what we're going to have, we're going to jump in here to objects or materials. And I'm going to go ahead and put fences along here. I do have a habit for that right now. I keep going into the wrong menu, which is not the best thing at all. So I do apologize if that gets on people snares because that's one thing which does annoy me is when I'm watching a YouTuber and they do something wrong. I start like near enough shouting at the screen like, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Give me patience because it is a, it's not a new game to me, but I'm still, you know, getting familiar with things. So with that done, that's going to go ahead and create, this is actually going to take quite a while to do. What I'm going to do is go ahead now, and we've got a basic fence in there which is good. I'm also going to go ahead and create probably the generator for the power generator and also the water building in here as well. So there's lots of building to go on there. With that done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually start to plan the main prison. Again, continue on with planning. So in front of that, we're going to have this building, this large building here. This is going to be a 20 by 20. This is where the kitchen and also the canteen is going to be. So I'm going to have probably a small section in here, which is going to be the kitchen, I think. So this is going to be the kitchen corner, I guess you could say. And then the rest of it is going to be the canteen. And over time, this can expand. And what my plan is to do is basically have a lot of the services in the middle of the prison yard and have cell blocks to the north and cell blocks to the south. I think that's the best way to go about things. Of course, we'll have to go ahead and accommodate for a different... I mean, it's not going to be symmetrical, that's the bottom line. We're going to... Different groups of prisoners, which I'm not going to have high security off the start. It's probably going to be low and medium security off the start. Everyone requires different needs. That is one thing. We're also going to have to have, for example, a visitation centre. We're probably going to have to expand this area eventually, the storage, deliveries and garbage. So. I mean, it's going to be a lot of playing around and just seeing what works and what doesn't work. So that is going to be that building there. Along with that, I'm going to go ahead and build another building just off of this, which this building is going to be a variety of different things. So if I can find a halfway point, so if that's 20 meters, then I'm going for 10 meters here. So if I go ahead and grab basically a wall just in there that's going to divide that room up and one of these is going to probably be the laundry room and the other is going to be the medical room eventually. A lot of this stuff I'm not going to build right off the start because I simply won't have the money but it just depends on the grants we get offered. I'll go ahead and apply them. So with that done we're going to go ahead and we're going to move up here and we're going to have quite a large yard area here actually in front of the cell block. Then we're going to build a uh, extremely large cell block. Again it won't all be built at once though but we're going to go ahead and build something quite large like this over time. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm just trying... I like round numbers. 20 by 40 is a really nice number, but I think that might be a little bit too much. So I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do here. So it's going to be individual cells pretty much. So each individual cell has to be 3 by 2 and that's what we're going to go ahead and do along the bottom here. I'm just going to give myself a rough idea of how many cells I can go ahead and fit in. Ideally from the start I want to be able to go hold, ahead and probably hold I would say about 30 prisoners, no more than that anyway uh, because I won't be able to build all the facilities I require but I wouldn't also say any less than that because you do still need to make a fair amount of money. As we can see at the top here again going back to I'm guessing you already have some idea or you'll pick up anyway as we go along how this game works. We've got finance in here. This is basically just my daily cash flow, which right now is in the positive. We want to keep it that way. We've also got our overall bank balance as well there, which is looking strong. So this building's already built, which is good. So we're going to come back to that. I just want to go ahead and, I mean, I don't think the prison is honestly going to open in this episode. It's going to be a lot, and I mean a lot of planning. So I want to go ahead and have an entrance probably in here to be fair actually and then we'll go ahead and do more cells along here. That is the best thing, actually no, that's not the best thing to do. Let's go ahead and scrap this. I need to have a shower area, that is one thing I do need to do. So we'll go ahead and add the shower area 
probably in here at the entrance actually not make it I mean that's not the largest shower area but I think it would do and I'm gonna go ahead and for different security types in the prison I'm gonna go ahead and assign different shower times but again we can go ahead and extend stuff as we go forwards I also want to go ahead and make a standard and say that I want all corridors to be at least two wide because one wide corridor is actually just a little bit stupid so we're going to go ahead and work out, I'm going to have cells back to back here, so we've got one, two, three, and then we're going to draw another line along there, then one, two, three, and then another line along there like that, so I know that I can go ahead and put a block of cells in here, I'll fill that out later on, then there's going to be a corridor of at least two, so the wall's going to move in one for the time being, like that, and then if we go ahead and... I mean, this is how it's going to start off, this is how it's going to start off, we'll build this extra section eventually, out here to the left but for the time being this is going to be the very basic cell block I don't think it is going to be able to host 30 actually I think 30 is a bit much because coming to think about it this is going to cost me a lot as it is anyway so that's going to be able to hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 18 prisoners overall which is a fair amount to get me going we'll also have our holding cell as well which I don't really want people to go ahead and stay in permanently but if it has to happen it has to happen so let's go ahead and build some entrances. There's going to be a lot of jail doors along this section, that's for sure, because this is probably, surprisingly, one of the easiest ways a prisoner can get out of the prison is actually through the main entrance. And then we'll go ahead and we'll also have a through door here as well. I do apologize about my voice. I'm a little bit, a little bit ill and I also ate way too much today as well. It's National Pizza Day, or it was on Thursday when I was recording this, so... I am feeling a little bit bloated, you could say that, and my throat's making a lot of funny noises, that's for sure. Anyways, this is actually turning into a building now, which is good, and I'm happy to see. And let's go ahead and, I guess, just make this into a, a decent-sized building and go ahead and just mark everything off. So we're going to go ahead and build a wall along there, which is something which is required. Then we're going to go ahead and look at... I need to build offices. I need to, I need to build so much stuff. I've got auto lights on as well, and I think auto lights is going to be a very useful thing to have because I always forget to place lights. So the first thing is we need is a holding cell. That is the first thing which I'm going to go ahead and map out here. So we jump into here and whereabouts this holding cell? I can never go ahead and actually see what I need to go ahead and put in. So this is a holding cell. It's going to need to be 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cell in probably there about 8x8, eight eight, which that'll work out not too bad. I just need to go ahead and I guess add in all the parameters. We'll also add a reception next to the holding cell as well. We'll also add in the power box and all that stuff in here too. So it's going to be a staff door there probably because you guys are trapped in there right now which is not too good and let's go ahead and continue our building. So back into concrete walls, back along here and then that's going to create the holding cell. Then the reception area. The reception, I'm not really at all sure how big you need to be. So we've got a reception, it's not actually a defined area, so I'm going to go ahead and just make a... Actually no, let's not go ahead and do that, let's cancel that. I want to make the reception area probably along there, and then at the back have two extra offices. So quite a small area there, and then if we can go ahead and... Offices, which again I cannot find on this list. I want to go ahead and put some offices in here. So the offices, what's the requirement for offices, sorry? So offices need to be at least 4x4, four four, and that's 3x3. Three so I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get two offices in there, so I'm going to go ahead and build quite a large office, which I'll do for the time being there. So I'm going to go ahead and also draw this in, and then we're going to go ahead and add in doors appropriately. So the holding cells built, which is good, so that is going to get created, and we have also need to go ahead and add in our power generator, so it's time to actually go ahead and start spending some proper money. So we are going to need to go ahead and build ourselves a lot of knots. I need to go ahead and use staff doors, not bins, so we'll add a staff door in there, we'll also add another one in there, and then we're going to add in a jail door for our holding cell, because the staff door won't quite cut it. So that's going to be into our holding area here, and hopefully they'll patch up that area of the wall. So we're going to jump here into utilities, and we need to go ahead and build ourselves a water pump that is going to provide our... most of our... I mean, we might need to build a few of these as we go on, but that's going to provide our prison with some water i'm also going to go ahead and that's a really bad place for a power station actually i want to go ahead and probably put it there thinking about it that's also a bad place for a water station too i want to go ahead and have these quite central in rooms 
just so I can go ahead and add capacitors around them if I need to. So we'll go ahead and add you in there and you in there. So you're probably taking up a little more room than you probably should to be fair, but that works out not bad. And that means I can go ahead and create an office or two in here. So I've actually decided that I'm going to go ahead and extend this probably by about two or three just because the building isn't wide enough for what I want to go ahead and do which is put in a lot more offices because this, I guess, administration building it needs at least four if not five, maybe six offices in it and right now I've just not gone ahead and accommodated for that. That's me probably just going ahead and doing some bad planning but it's something which we've now got power which is good but it's something which I want to have in this starting area. Now a lot of people are going to have different ideas to me about how you want to go ahead and build a prison and yeah, I mean everyone's going to have different layouts, everyone's going to have different ideas. At the end of the day this is my series remember so I'm happy to take suggestions but I'm not necessarily going to build what you want me to build. So we've got ourselves the power station which is all good to go so we'll go ahead and start to basically line out some electrical cables which will go throughout the prison. This one here is basically just going to run right through to the canteen. We're then going to have another cable which comes right up here, goes through there and then it's going to reach in it to our prison block when we eventually go ahead and create it. Along with that we need to go ahead and actually add in a proper perimeter fence. So I have added in a fence for our entrance area, however we do need to go ahead and add one in for pretty much the whole of the prison. So again for the time being I'm just going to go ahead and I guess make just a, a relatively small fenced off area, however as time goes on we'll go ahead and extend this just as our prison needs it. There's no need to go ahead and even though fencing is quite cheap, it's something which there's no point in going ahead and doing lots of if I can just go ahead and spend a little bit of money at the start here. So how are we working on towards this detention center thing? So first of all I think we are slowly but surely running out of, or no we don't have any time limit which is good. It's in progress. When something's flashing I, I feel like oh it's very important, it needs to get done, there's like a time limit but there's not. So we've got off to a slow start I feel anyway, we've really blabbed a lot to be fair. We're getting there, we'll get there. So have we got ourselves a holding cell? We do, but we've not got anything in it. We need a shower, yard, we've hardly got anything here. So we're actually going to go ahead and start placing some objects in now. So for the holding cell we need to go ahead and add in the holding cell, I guess, properties to actually define it as a holding cell. So we need to have a bench, also toilets, and that's pretty much it to be fair. So benches and toilets will not be that difficult at all. I'll probably add in a few beds in here as well because I don't expect anyone to have to sleep in here but I think it's just a nice thing to have. So we'll go ahead and add in that there. Two benches at the bottom. We'll also add in some toilets at the top here. Then on top of that I can't really see what else I'll need bar beds. I am going to go ahead and add in some walls internally into this area here just to go ahead and add on a wee bit of segregation I guess so if we go ahead and do that there don't know if that's necessarily the best idea in a prison having some segregation but just for the holding cell anyway that's sort of like your last glimpse of segregation before you go ahead and get a wee bit of privacy for the toilet there I realize you're not getting a lot but it's a little bit of privacy anyway We've got two benches in there, along with that I probably just want to go ahead and add in a few beds, just for the sake of it anyway, so we'll add in two beds in there, maybe a, th nah we'll just add in the two there in the corners, so that works out not bad, so I mean that holding cell can't really go ahead and hold too many prisoners, but it will go ahead and fit its purpose. I'm going to go ahead and make modifications to this whole area now and delete some walls because I'm just not happy with how I built it. So I've gone ahead and deleted some walls in there. We can go ahead and actually start to get to work slowly but surely on this anyway. So as we said this is going to be my canteen and also my kitchen. So we're going to have to go ahead and put some jail doors onto this because I don't want my prisoners sneaking into this area when they shouldn't be. Just add in two doors there and we'll maybe add in a third one over heat as well because eventually we're going to expand up this area as time goes on. Along with that internally I need to go ahead and add in a few walls so I can't do that until they've built it. They're slowly building it but it's they're taking their time. I guess I could go ahead and hire in more workmen actually. I think that's something that'll do so I'll hire two more of you guys and that should go ahead and get you guys moving a little bit better. I realize these actually might be cut off now so I need to go ahead and add in 
a large gel door about there and this one here should be coming down as this wall comes down. So how am I going to go ahead and actually make this area work because I wasn't happy with it before. So if you're one, two, three, four along, then we can go ahead and add in a wall there. Then we're going to have probably another large office up here. So if that's a four by four, I can go ahead and add an office there. And then we'll add a large office at the back there. Then we'll have the reception area here, which I'm quite liking. And then we can go ahead and... This area will just be quite open plan, to be honest. At the bottom, though, it's going to be a little bit different. So this should be wide enough now to go ahead and add in two 4x4 offices, which is good. That's really what I'm wanting. That middle section is about to get deleted, which will be good. And um, we can go ahead and along with that, add in the staff doors. So a door there, a door there. So that'll be two offices down there, two offices up the top, and then a larger reception area, which is... That makes me quite happy. Can't really see the need for anything else. We can possibly get another office in here anyway, but for an administration building, I think four offices should be good enough. So this is slowly getting changed. It's going to take time. They're still laying the electricity pipes as well. I also need to go ahead and actually deal with the water. That's going to be one large thing, which is going to cause me quite a few problems as we go on. So I'm going to go ahead and create a water pipe. This is the main water pipe, which will go from the water pumping station into the shower area here and I also need to connect up to the toilets as we go on too. I'm also going to need to go ahead and modify this pipe to come down via the kitchen and the reason for this is because we're going to have sinks in the kitchen which are going to be required to clean some of the prisoners dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and speed things up because I actually really have no I guess you could say time penalties so I don't need to go ahead and worry about speeding things up and things not getting done. I just need to go ahead and get my prison into a fit state so it can open as soon as possible. We can see here this whole area is a mess as well. Are we demolishing that wall down the middle? You guys are taking your time honestly. I mean I would hire more workmen. I'm just going to go ahead and speed the clock up even more actually. I would go ahead and hire more workmen but at the same time like you've got enough to do yes but at the same time like it's just the money that's the problem the money the money 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 anyway so doors are getting installed before walls which isn't great let me go ahead and jump back into here let me grab myself concrete wall add that small section in there i think we also need to demolish this whole section here which is easy enough to do i've also got some slabs and some doors in the wrong place which i'm not liking at all as time goes on, I'll probably go ahead and... Can we remove that door, please? Doors are the absolute nightmare that I just absolutely hate. I need to go ahead and add in more doors, actually, over to these offices. Like so, and like so, so that works out there. As I was saying, though, it's just... The more workmen I have, for example, if I go ahead and add lots in right now, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Then I'm going to have to fire lots of them. So I'm not going to have a constant purpose and need for them anyway. So that is this area. Hopefully the canteen and kitchen are going to be complete shortly which it looks like the main building actually is that this should be able to form into a building and there we go that is it into a building so i can go ahead and actually start to define the kitchen and also our i guess you could say canteen area so that's the kitchen again the kitchen i mean kitchens need to be good sizes because if we don't go ahead and add in a decent sized kitchen then we're not going to be able to cook enough food for our prisoners Along with that, let's go ahead and build this canteen. So that section and that section and with that line there, this is going to be our canteen. So our canteen is going to be quite large. I'm going to get started on this build straight away actually as it, things move forward with our administration building. So the holding cell, the holding cell is looking good. What's the problem? Minimum size 5x5. Five five. Well, you are 5x5, five five, but I think it's because I've added this wall down the middle here, which is something which I probably shouldn't have done. Fair enough, let's go ahead and bulldoze it. Little things like this, for example, which are maybe not the best at, which I am sort of missing out on. So that there should go ahead and complete the criteria. That triangle should disappear. It's enclosed, it's got a door. Why are you moaning? Right, I know the reason why it was moaning. It's because technically when I placed that wall, I actually removed part of the holding cell. So the holding cell is good to go by the water situation, which there are pipes to go in. And all the offices are laid out, though I do need to go ahead and redo some of my room zonings here at the start. So I'm going to go ahead and add you two guys in as offices, because that's what yous are. And then need to go ahead and remove this section 
here anyway as office, add you in as an office, add you as an office, then we need to go ahead and I guess you can say just modify this whole reception area because it's definitely outgrown its old zone. So there we go, that is reception extended. I still need to go ahead and delete some of this stuff and we also need to go ahead and add some more objects into these rooms to actually make them function properly. Right, so things are looking a little bit better in reception anyway. Let's go ahead and actually make these offices into offices. So I'm going to go ahead and add in filing cabinets. I'm wanting the warden, which I'm not going to classify as me. I'm going to classify the warden as a separate person. Do note in this series the warden can't actually be fired. That was something which I wanted to go ahead and... In a sense, I don't want my series to finish early, I guess you could say. I've just built that desk the wrong way around. So if we can go ahead and not... If we go ahead and rotate you like that, so that works out, keyboard facing out the way. It's just because I don't want the series, like for example, if I'm doing really well with this series, which if we cannot tell by now, I'm not doing too well so far, then I don't want it to just all of a sudden end. So that's something which I would absolutely hate. It's sort of like the feeling of like a corrupt file in a sense, which that is always my biggest nightmare, my biggest worry is that for any series I play, if that be Transport Fever, if that be this game, Cities, Whatever game I'm playing, something corrupts and I can't go back to it. That's my biggest scare. That's why I literally have, after the end of every episode, I make at least two saves. Usually three saves of every single game. Right, so reception needs to go ahead and get some furniture in itself here. I realise this is a lot of start-stop. I do apologise. However, I, it's, I mean, that's the sort of game. If you don't like it, then simply do not watch it. So we need to go ahead and add in some tables and some chairs in here as well, just for, I guess, people to wait around in so we'll go ahead and add in a cluster of chairs there and a cluster of chairs there i realize i'm spending quite a bit of money on stuff which isn't that important we're down to 19,000, which isn't the best and we've still not built a lot of the fundamentals of the prison which we need to go ahead and do so that's offices created what are you moaning about now you just need that one office desk and along with that i'll probably go ahead and put a chair just because that would make sense so we'll go ahead and stick you in there and that is pretty much this building complete actually I realize it does look a mess and it's something which I absolutely hate however it's something which we're gonna have to deal with until we unlock janitors which I'm not doing that anytime soon I'm also gonna add in a extra capacitor right beside our power thing here just because I don't well it's not I don't it's just we're sort of running low there on electricity and I need to go ahead and provide a little bit more. We also need to power our water supply because right now the two toilets there are not getting any juice. So I'm going to turn my attention now that we finish that section actually to the main jail itself. I realise people call it different things in different countries. I'd probably call it a jail overall, not a prison. However, I mean, I guess they're the same thing unless jail actually means something different. But we're going to go ahead and add that section in there and then add this small shower wing here. Then we're going to go ahead and once all that's built, we're going to start working on the prison area. For the time being though, we're going to turn our attention back around here and back down to our kitchens and canteens. So for the canteen, we're going to need basically just a lots of tables with lots of benches. That's the bottom line, nothing too complicated there. I'm just thinking what the best ways I can go ahead and do this and allow for a decent amount of space. So if we go ahead and do tables along that way, for example, and have a joint table there, that works out not bad. And then we can have another one along the bottom there, like that and like that. And then we'll go ahead and put another bench probably down here as time goes on. Again, I don't want to overspend, yet I get really excited when I get the option to spend because this is really design and management and that is just so up my street. So we've gone ahead and added those in there. That's an adequate, I think, room for prisoners to get us started there. We are starting to lose money, which is something which I'm not too happy about. So we need to go ahead and finish this goal. That's the thing, to get us an extra 10k, which is something we're probably going to need. I can go ahead and take out loans with other money. However, again, I want to try and avoid that. Let's go ahead and stop, I guess, overbuying stuff. I mean, we can buy one or two of things. Let's just go ahead and buy one cooker instead of the two. We jump in here to fridges as well. We'll go ahead and rotate you. I can't really tell which way you are. I think that's the correct way. So we'll add a, one fridge in there. Again, we can go ahead and add more in as time goes on. Then we'll go ahead and add in a sink, probably around about here as well. And that'll also need connected up to the waters. I think that's the correct way. Again, though, not 100% sure. But that is all we need for a kitchen, literally. Very, very basic. 
We also need to add in a serving table in here and then we're good to go. So if we go ahead and grab a serving table, go ahead and rotate this here and build you probably about there I would say, then we are good to go. I'll add you there actually, we'll add another staff door to the kitchen, probably here just so for easy access to the serving area. And that is uh, the kitchen and also the canteen now complete. As we can see the kitchen's off our list, now with that serving table so is the canteen. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is turn my attention up to our big jail here. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and add ourselves in one large jail door, which is going to go in this section here. I realise I've probably kind of not mucked that up, but it's a bit hideous. It's like three wide this main corridor, but that doesn't allow for a good door placement because I can either have a one wide door or that's just a single jail door or I can have a large jail door and a large jail door. It looks a bit silly like that. So this should now turn into a building, which is good, and that allows me to go ahead and start to build what I want to build, which is showers and also cells. So we'll go ahead and start, I guess, paving some of this in. We'll go ahead and drag a large wall along there, and we'll start to build some, not a lot of individual cells, but some cells. As we can see now, all my workers are going ahead and are turning their attention basically to this area here. How much would that cost? Quite a bit of money, actually. So I'll just go ahead and draw that outline until we get the 10k and we'll come back to it because we'll only need to build showers, yards and hire a few more people and then we'll be good to go. So this is going to be this small shower area. If we go ahead and jump in here to objects and we go ahead and get myself shower heads, it's going to have to be quite a lot of shower heads to be fair into this small area. However, again, we'll go ahead and probably add in more showers as we expand this whole prison block, wing, whatever you want to call it, and we'll also need to go ahead and add in a drain just to go ahead and keep away that build up of whatever it is, it's like moss or chemicals, I'm not really at all sure what it is to be fair, but it will go ahead and just make cleaning that a little bit easier. I need to go ahead and temporarily add in jail, jail doors, if I could speak jail doors into here just so actually these people can get out because they keep trapping themselves in there which is not the best. So let's go ahead and finally just create these rooms, I guess you could say. So we need to go ahead and create the yard. The yard is literally going to be this large area out front here, which I'm going to go ahead and put fences around a little better. Yard is quite large, which is good to see, so that's that built. And we need to go ahead and also add in our shower area too. So showers, I mean that shower area is quite small, but again it's going to do the job for the time being. All we need to do is hire two guards and two cooks and we're good to go. However, I'll do that in a second after I've gone ahead and connected up some of this piping. So if we go ahead and just basically add a small pipe section around there, that should solve our problem. Electricity is the final thing actually I need to go ahead and deal with. Not everything is connected up to the grid so we'll add a pipe along there and everything should work from that. So with that done we can go ahead and do what I was going to do which is hire some staff. So first of all cooks, we're going to have two of yous in the kitchen funnily enough. Guards we're going to have use in the reception and hire two more. So I'll start off with four, which really isn't a lot, but that should have me got the 10k there. So we actually probably went into negative cash flow there very, very quickly. However, we should be good to go ahead and actually start taking prisoners very, very soon. What I am going to do is I'm going to wrap things up there though for the first episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like, rating, subscribe if you are new around here. Go ahead and click on some links on screen to videos you might have missed. Give me some tips down below because, as I said, I'm new to this game and I'm looking for ideas. I mean, I've watched a lot of videos and stuff, but I'm looking for ideas and also just, uh, I guess, to build and work out a plan for the future. Anyway, that's all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Conflict, and I'm Callum, and I'm out.